Welcome to 1000 PS, welcome to the Philippines, welcome to the launch of the CF Moto 450 MT. The first question I'm going to ask you is, what's the price? Because I think most of you are going to think seven, maybe eight thousand. Actually, it's under six. Under six thousand pounds as it is. I mean, that is incredible value for money. Furthermore, if you go for PSP, you lay down about 950 quid and it's under 50 pounds a month on PCP. Under 50 quid a month for a brand new bike that you can just put in the back of your garage and enjoy. I spend more than 50 quid when I take my wife out for a meal. My kid's mobile phone is more than 50 quid. So I think I'm gonna remove my child's mobile phone and not take my wife out as much and I'll have two of these. So let me run you through some specs. As you'd expect for the price, it's built for a price, but you do actually get a lot. You get a full, full color five inch TFT screen. You get KYB adjustable suspension, front and rear, 21 inch front, 18 inch rear. We've got ABS, we've got traction control, and we've got one rider mode. Now, there's a really complex way to turn off the ABS and the traction, and that is pressing that button for about three seconds. That turns off the traction and it turns off the ABS on the rear, but you've still got ABS on the front. As you'd expect for this price, you don't have lean sensitive ABS, you don't have lean sensitive traction control, it's just conventional wheel speed. Also, when you twist this thing on the right that we call the throttle, that moves some cables and that makes it go forward. So there were no rider modes. It's not ride by wire or anything trick, it's just twist it and you go forwards. But the problem with that is, it's a little bit snatchy off the bottom. A little bit snatchy, it's not too bad, but once you've gone from, say, 10% throttle and through, it's actually quite smooth. But that initial zero to 10% is a little bit snatchy. In terms of physicality, it looks like a big bike, it feels like a big bike, and I think if you pull up to a bike meet, people are gonna think you're on a 800, maybe even a 900. But this seat is actually quite low, and I'm only five foot seven, nearly, and I can touch the floor quite comfortably. And when you're riding, we have a manually adjustable screen, you can get quite comfortable, the bars are quite wide, it feels quite spacious. But on the roads here in the Philippines, it was a little bit harsh, it was a little bit solid. So what I did was just opened up the suspension. What I did is just simply opened it up to let the suspension flow, to give it a little bit more of a plush feeling, just to improve that comfort, just to give it a bit more ride and just to enjoy the ride a little bit more. The flip side of that is, when you ride it off-road, you want a little bit more support because you want it to control it so it doesn't blow through the suspension. So it kind of dictates how and where you want to ride, so how you want to do with the suspension. And that brings up quite an interesting point for me. Because it's priced reasonably, in fact, it's priced very low, in the UK, you could change the Chinese tires to say Metzler or Pirelli. You could go visit a suspension specialist like K-Tech or Maxton or any of the quality guys that we have in the UK. Spend a few hundred pound, you'd be at six and a half thousand pound and you'd have a really quality, well handling, sorted CF motor 450. Now interestingly here in the Philippines we've not been able to test the MPG really, we don't know what it's like with a pillion, we don't know what the accessories are like, we don't know what it's like at high speed with vibration and etc. There was one section where we got to stretch the cable a little bit and we got to like 120, 130 kilometers an hour and you can feel it's starting to get a little bit breathless. So on high speed motorway 75, 85, maybe 90 is it going to be a little bit vibey? Is it going to be a little bit breathless? Maybe so, depending on how and where you ride it. In terms of the competition, that's really interesting because two years ago, Royal Enfield had the Himalayan that was a really cheap, robust, solid kind of bike that you could feel like you could throw it off a rock face, pick it back up and it'd start again. In many ways, it kind of reminds me of that. The new Enfield Himalayan is way better than the old one. And I think the new Enfield Himalayan is a little bit better in terms of quality, suspension and feel. I think this, the Honda is gonna feel a little bit more quality, but it's got that kind of robustness. It's got that solidness. It's got that, I'm just gonna go forever. And because it's priced so competitively, I think it's gonna to appeal to a lot of people as maybe a second or a third bike. For less than 50 pounds a month, you could put this in the back of your garage, pull it out once a month, go ride it off-road, drop it on a few rocks, get it covered in mud, don't bother cleaning it, put it back in the garage, bring it back out in a few weeks' time, press this little starter button that looks a bit like R2-D2, 
and just ride it again. And then that's the beauty of this bike. I think you're going to ride it all winter. You're going to ride it off road. You're not going to be bothered to crash it. You're just going to enjoy it, pick it up, robustness and carry on. And it's got the capabilities with the adjustment and the wheel sizes to really tackle some serious stuff once you've sorted the suspension and sorted the tires. But here at 1000 PS, I guess the biggest test is when we put it against the competition. Hopefully the guys in Germany will get the bikes together. We can put this bike against the competition, which again is the Enfield, the Triumph Scrambler 400, which doesn't have the off-road appeal, the Honda, and just really go through it with its the competition and really test it in a more real world environment. But in terms of first impressions, it's a good looking, robust, solid, does what it says on the tin. No excuses, get on with it, 50 quid a month bike. Job done. Thanks for watching, hope you really enjoyed it. This has not been a holiday, that's not actually real. Thanks for watching, hope you got some questions, I'll try and get back to you.